bloodlust or the immortality or the power. She did it to stop the voices in her head. She didn't want to let the magic consume her. How do you know it was the same kind of magic? Remember that day in the woods with the crow? Why didn't you never tell me? Because I found out the day we left. And when I heard, I, I got scared. Rose, you don't get scared. I do when I think about losing you. So you think I'm going to go crazy now that I'm going to turn to Tricoy? No. No, I'm your guardian. I'm not going to let that happen to you. And neither is Dimitri. But how are you supposed to protect me when you're in class and Dimitri's off God knows where? I'm going to do whatever I have to do. Screw my classes. And Dimitri is in Siberia trying to help us out. How would he know what to look for? No, of course not. He guessed. Guessed how? He has a friend with the same kind of magic. He's out there trying to track them down. Where are you going? To my room. The light is killing me. I'm freezing unless you want me to die of frostbite. Oh, okay, will you listen to me for two seconds? Why should I? Because I can feel the darkness inside your head. I know you can hear the voices. And I know they scare the hell out of you. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? When was the last time you got pissed at me like that? It's not like you make it hard. Okay, well, well what about Mia? What, you defending her now? When you go into total bitch mode and basically turn into her, yeah, I'm gonna defend her. I had to put her back in her place. I know the magic's affecting you. All that compulsion that you're using and the magic you use to try and heal the fox. Lisa, you can't tell me that doesn't affect you. I can take care of you, but you need to make me a promise. No more using your magic. At least, not until we figure this out. Please. <laughs> 